वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स इट इज वीडियो नंबर सिक्सटी फोर एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल रिवाइज चैप्टर नंबर थर्टी ओके इन दिस वीडियो इन दिस टू वीडियोज नेक्स्ट टू वीडियोज मीन्स दिस सिक्सटी फोर एंड सिक्सटी फाइव वी विल सी द टॉपिक्स विच इज रिलेटेड फ्रॉम देर सी बी एस सी एन सी ई आर टी बट Gujarat government has not declared any kind of uh, that uh, things, so we will see that portion also. Okay, the related part will be there in your final exam or not, but in this exam it may be there. Clear it. Okay, okay. In this video, let us see first equation of exponential. law okay what is that exponential law so in this we will discuss the one definition first and that definition is about about rate of decay we know that start from here we know that what that is dn by dt is directly proportional to uh, directly proportional sign we have to ignore put equal to n lambda n right so this is decay rate what is decay rate uh, for one more question what is decay rate dn by dt means the number of nuclei number of radioactive nuclei disintegrate Per unit time, disintegrate means the nuclei will be reduced, and because of that reason, we have to take minus sign. Okay, so in this case, you have to start from here. Uh, uh, we know that from the rate of decay, that is, the n by dt is equal to minus lambda n. Take n on this side and dt here, so you will get d n is equal to Minus lambda multiply by dt on that side. That is dt divided by n. Right. So this is the equation. In this equation, now you have to take integration. So integrating on both the side, we are getting one upon n dn is equal to minus. Lambda. What is lambda? Lambda is decay constant. So it is taken outside and dt. Now you have to put that uh, limit at time t is equal to zero. Number of nuclei means initial number of nuclei you have to take as zero, and after some time number of nuclei will reduce due to that emission. And number of nuclei remain. There is n. So what is n? Number of undecayed nuclei after some time. There is t. Okay. This is the integration. And my students, they know very well. What is the answer of this? It is given by ln n. Then upper limit. Number of nuclei remain n zero. Number of nuclei initial minus lambda as it is, and here dt means time derivative integration. So uh, in uh, derivation and integration, integration of derivative quantity we give that quantity back means derivative of time. And integration of derivative, so you will get the time back. So it is t, t zero. Now, after this, it is a very nice as well as very nice to understand how to put that limits. So first put upper limit, so you will get ln n. Then after lower limit, there is ln n zero, and it will be minus sign. Right. So this is the Familiar result, and what will be the answer? It is similar to the log. 
not log but similar to the log so you are getting ln n by n0 okay same thing here minus lambda as it is t upper limit then lower limit 0 and in between minus sign so you are getting minus lambda t here you have to apply exponential law so here exponential law you have to apply according to exponential law after that what will happen see here n by n0 so ln here what is the change the entire term will come to that exponential that is minus lambda t got it take n0 here you will get n is equal to n0 e raised to minus lambda t so this is the equation of equation of exponential law for radioactive substance have a look or if you want to take a screenshot then you can take screenshot okay have a look Okay, now depends on this, means depend on the equation of exponential law. So what was the equation? So equation is here, that is n is equal to n is equal to n0 e raised to minus lambda t. Right? There is one more question. Uh, using the equation of exponential law, obtain equation of half life time right so by using that exponential law we are going to explain we are going to obtain the equation of half life time what do you mean by half life suppose average age of that person is 100 what is its half life 50 so what you have done 100 divided by 2 means consider 100 as the initial and 50 means initial divided by 2 so keep it in mind this example for half lifetime so whatever I give that example that example is uh, about uh, definition of half lifetime what is the definition of half lifetime so it is here in equation format we are going to uh, remember okay the time interval in which ready t is equal to means the time interval in which number of what do you mean by n number of undecayed nuclei means remaining nuclei number of undecayed nuclei becomes half of initial nuclei again the time interval in which number of undecayed nuclei becomes half of initial nuclei that time interval is known as tau half means tau half it is a symbol of half life time so this is the definition in the form of equation clear okay give it equation number one and this is from the definition now what to do okay put definition in equation number one we cannot write like this way okay but what to write put uh, t is equal to tau half it is nothing but uh, definition of half lifetime put t is equal to tau half and n is equal to n0 by 2 in equation number 1 equation number 1 is here for alpha right put it here so instead of n 
there is n0 by 2 is equal to n0 as it is multiply by e raised to e raised to minus lambda as it is instead of t tau half what is tau half it is the symbol of half life time clear so n0 n0 will cut 2 will go outside so it is 2 inverse is equal to e raised to minus lambda tau half minus minus so it will be plus right now again here you have to apply exponential law the same law which we have applied in uh, previous theory right in this case e will come here so it becomes ln 2 is equal to lambda tau half simple thing got it it is ln 2 ln 2 means natural log if you want to convert natural log into that 10 base log then what to do you have to multiply by 2.303 okay is equal to lambda tau half right what is the value of log 2 you know very well there is 2.303 multiply by 0 0.3010 so 0 0.3010 it is the log 2 okay divided by take lambda here so it is lambda is equal to tau half now it is very easy to find the answer of 2.303 multiplied by 0 0.3010 you will get the equation of half lifetime is equal to 0 0.693 divided by lambda got it same thing is there okay uh, here we are going to revise all the uh, theories there are two main theories in a one frame and because of that it will be a little bit congested but it is very useful after taking this screenshot. Okay, now by using the same equation, you have to find the equation of that is equation of mean life. Mean life. Okay, what is the uh, mean life? As we have seen in half lifetime, the time interval in which the time interval in which number of undecayed nuclei becomes each part means not that half not that quarter but it becomes each part of initial that is known as mean lifetime and mean lifetime having a symbol which top this you have to put in equation number one so put in equation number one so equation number one is here instead of n what to do n0 by e is equal to n0 e raised to minus lambda tau right this is a very nice theory of two marks it is very easy to okay n0 n0 will cut e will go upside so it is e minus one e raised to minus lambda tau if the base is same then you can compare the powers after comparing you will get 1 is equal to lambda tau and uh, equation of tau that means mean lifetime tau is equal to 1 upon lambda okay so this is the equation of mean lifetime okay now there is one relation between mean life and half life here uh, from here you will get 1 upon lambda is okay so but 1 upon lambda 
is equal to what will come? That is tau half divided by 0 0.693. Put it there. Means put this 1 upon lambda here. So you will get tau is equal to tau half divided by 0 0.693. 1 upon 0 0.693 is nothing but tau is equal to 1 point double chop ka tau half okay so this equation gives the relation between mean life tau and mean lifetime tau half it indicates that mean lifetime is 1.44 time half lifetime it means mean lifetime is greater than half lifetime. Okay, so exponential law equation, half lifetime theory, mean lifetime. It is a congested, but it is very nice to take a screenshot and then treat. Okay, let us take a screenshot and try to understand, please. Now we are going to take undeleted portion means let us say that nuclear reaction. So first nuclear reaction is nuclear fission reaction. Right? that we have seen by taking I think so in video number 62 okay uh, but we will not go for that detail okay what is fission reaction so it is very easy when a heavy nuclei is bombarded by neutron so it is symbol of neutron the heavy nuclei absorb the energy of neutron and becomes and becomes what unbalanced Now, 
what is chain reaction okay so you can see that here three neutrons are released but out of these three if any one is bombarded back to that heavy duty layer okay means jo teen neutron release hue hai wo teen mein se ek neutron agar heavy nuclei ke sath bombard back karta hai to fission reaction bhi kar lega got it so this is known as this is known as chain reaction but generally it is not possible why because after fission reaction the number of neutrons which are released they are three neutrons and they are known as fast neutrons right fast neutrons having high energy how much energy fast neutron having energy that is 2 mev because of this reason only these fast neutrons are not able to complete the chain reaction so they are not able to continue chain reaction because of that high energy and due to that they are inserted into the monitor got it remember what is that monitor monitor are used to absorb energy of fast neutron got it monitor for an example we are taking simple water h2o heavy water d2o and graphite monitor start to absorb the energy of fast neutron because of that monitor becomes hot problem number 2 so here you have to cool down cool down the monitor with the help of coolant got it coolants for an example we have taken uh, water as well as gas okay after monitor the neutrons are coming out that neutrons are known as slow neutrons and these slow neutrons each neutron having energy 0.04 mev right okay simple thing problem number 1 which after fission reaction three neutrons are released each neutron having energy 2 mev it is very high so they will not able to continue the chain reaction its solution you have to insert that uh, fast neutrons into the monitor monitor absorb the excess energy of neutrons but problem number 2 monitor becomes hot to cool down the monitor coolants are used and after this two problems two solutions the neutrons coming out from that monitor they are known as slow neutron neutrons or they are also known as thermal neutrons and this thermal neutrons again what it will be uh, what it will it will do it is bombard back to continue the chain reaction okay so here we have taken our three theories first is definition of fission 
heavily play, bombarded by neutron, heavily play, absorb the energy of neutron and become unbalanced. Then it may split into two lighter nuclei. This is known as nuclear fission. Right with the help of example, two more theory, then you have to take that example which we have taken in the regular video. Uranium 92, 235 plus uh, neutron 01, it gives uh, unbalanced. Uranium 92, 236, then it may split into two. Barker, BA and KR. Simple. Another question, what is chain reaction? So after fission reaction, two or more neutrons are released. If one of the neutron bombard back to that heavy nuclei, then the fission reaction will continue, right? And this is known as chain reaction. Again, another question of three or four marks. Discuss the problems and its solutions for nuclear fission reaction. So, problem number one. After fission reaction, fast neutrons, high energy, each neutron having energy 2 MeV, they are not able to continue that chain reaction. Because of that, it is inserted into the moderator. Definition of moderator. What is moderator? Moderator are the substance which absorb the energy of fast neutrons. Right? For an example, B2O, H2O, graphite, etc. When they are absorbing the energy of that fast neutron, it becomes hot. So to cool down the moderator, Coolers are used for an example gases as well as water. After coming from that moderator, the neutrons having energy 0.04 MeV, they are known as slow neutrons or thermoneutrons. When these thermoneutrons bombard back to the heavy nuclei, the fission reaction will continue. Simple. Have a look and if you want to take screenshot once again, you can take. Okay? Okay. So, it was fission reaction. In this topic, there is a one more short note. It was about nuclear reactor. In nuclear reactor, you have to take first use. Right? What is the use of nuclear reactor? To perform nuclear fission and nuclear fusion reaction. Second, to prepare artificial radioactive substance. And third, to generate electricity in thermal power station. For an example, Thermal, there is a one place and nearby Dwar. They are generating electricity with the help of that nuclear reactor, with the help of that radioactive substances. Clear? Now let us take that nuclear reactor because of, uh, before that we are going to complete one schematic diagram. Okay? Here, this region. This region is known as core region. In the core region, all the nuclear reactions takes place. For an example, let us take nuclear fission reaction. And in that reaction, we have taken uranium 92 uh, to 35. Okay? And if you want to complete their schematic diagram, the diagram was very easy, like this, see. Here, insert water, 
that work as a coolant water is inserted into the core region in the core region nuclear reaction takes place for an example after nuclear fission the neutrons are released right that neutrons are fast neutrons fast neutrons uh, energy of that fast neutron is absorbed by the moderator moderator becomes hot and this water work as a coolant and because of that moderator will cool down but because of that high energy because of that high temperature of core region this water become vapor or steam got it and this steam is supplied to that steam engine when proper pressure develop this steam steam engine start to work and this steam engine is connected to the motor and when motor rotated it produce what it produce it produce electricity simple right now this water vapor or steam they are in a vapor form steam engine motor electricity generated and after that this hot steam is converted into again water with the help of condenser right again it is converted into water and then water will go to the cool region it is very okay here one more thing there are control rods okay this control rods which are made up of cadmium right and uh, from this there is a one nice topic it was multiplication factor right multiplication factor was symbolized by k is equal to number of neutron raised to the number of neutrons absorbed clear and this multiplication factor it is it is unit and dimension less okay and the prime condition of this multiplication factor it was k is equal to 1 and this stage is known as critical stage and in this critical stage only the nuclear reactor works the fission process continues there are two more conditions that is k is greater than 1 and k is less than 1 if k is greater than 1 it is known as super critical stage if k is equal to 1 that is known as sorry less than 1 it is known as sub critical stage super critical stage k exceed than 1 means number of neutron released Control rods go inside. It will remain inside till k is equal to one. K is less than one. Subcritical stage means number of neutrons absorbed there increased. At that situation, control rod will come out and it remain outside until k is equal to one. Simple. Okay. So in this video, this much is enough. Few things we will see in next video on Tuesday. Thank you.